I've been asked to shoot a video explaining what abrasives I use at what point when I'm sharpening beauty shears. Um, so let's get into that. Now this is going to be information for new sharpeners. Those of you with experience will just roll your eyes. So you can at this point you can stop the video or unless you just want to see what I've got to say. Um, I wish I could say I'll have something amazing and surprising to say at the end so you watch it all the way through. But you know, make sure you subscribe and like my video and and if you're an experienced sharpener, just wait. Now, some people have maybe an experienced sharpener, but maybe they've been using a different kind of machine and they're transitioning to the flat hone and they're saying, okay, what do I need to get? Or maybe you're in another country and you're not ordering these from us and you need to order them from someone. So let's talk about it. First of all, we sell two different kinds. There are a lot more of these little abrasive films. Um, <laughs> there's got, they've got a lot of names on them. Um, I call them abrasive film or some people call them sandpaper or um, a disc, you know, six inch disc. If you're trying to Google it and find it on your own, uh, there's, a number, there's a number of different names you can give it to find it. Uh, the ones that we have, these are made, these are, we call them blue film, and these come from, um, we were getting some USA made, these are actually made in Korea. And then these are the 3M. These, and the ones we all have are the Hook It, like a Velcro. There are some that are called PSA, Pressure Sensitive Adhesive. I would show you if I had one here, but I, I don't have it. We can only stock just so many of these things. Um, these are actually made mostly for the automotive industry. So if you're trying to find them on their, your own and you're not ordering from us or maybe you're in another country, see if you can find an automotive supply that they're using to sand the cars down before they paint them. That's what you're looking for because these are, um, you can put water on them and uh, they actually work better with water. They'll last longer. So these are micron and this is grit and there's a lots of charts on the internet showing the comparison of micron and grit you just got to get in there and use these to know how they really compare how it's it's it, there's no chart that really to, that I see even the ones I've made up charts I think I've got one on my website that's really true because for instance this is a 2000 and this is the 400 this is the finest grit and this is the coarsest grit we have right now in this blue film but that 400 where it's really really rough and aggressive can you hear the difference here hear the difference once this is used a few times it's going to be really really slick this would probably be closer to like a 3000 or 6000 where the 400 after you've used it a few times it's going to be like an 800 <laughs> And they just progressed down. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know my favorite is an 800 grit. Once I get it worn in, broken in a few times, it seems to like give me just the perfect amount of aggression. And, um, you know, I can almost go from that to polishing. So that seems to work the best for me. You're going to find out works for you. So grit, the higher the number, the smoother it is. The lower the number, the more aggressive and the coarser it is. And this is going to leave like little scratches, which sometimes is good. If you're doing like some barbering shears or grooming shears and a beveled edge or even sewing scissors, you're going to want a little bit of bite. You want to be able to see the little grind marks because it's going to grab. Blunter the angle. Maybe the more aggressive you want to use, the more little grip you are bite to the shears. The sharper the edge, the smoother you want that edge because it's got a slice to the hair. Now, Micron, these are the opposite. The higher the number, the coarser they are. The finer the number, the um, smoother they are. So this one, for instance, this is a 9 Micron. And this 3M, this is what makes me crazy, is that instead of stamping them on the front, they stamp it on the back. You see that? So it's hard to read. It's just a um, little, little bizarre. But um, 
This, that's the finest, the finest we sell. And this is 9 micron, and that would be kind of equivalent to the 2000 grit with the blue film. And this one, can you hear the sound? This is the 80 micron. We actually have 100 micron, uh, but this is our next to the courses. And our 60, 80, and 100 seem to be more aggressive than the 400. So usually if somebody is getting, you know, using primarily the blue film, I usually recommend they also have an 80, 60, and 100 of this. It, you know, if you get sewing scissors or pinking shears or you got a shear that's, you know, one tip's broken off and you got to take a lot off, I'll use this. So, now, this takes you to the question that I was asked to address. How do you know what grit to choose when you go to sharpen a shear? Depends on several things. Number one is how much metal do you need to take off? And do you need to reshape these shears? Did somebody else sharpen them wrong and put a beveled edge on a convex and you got to reconvex it? Did um, are they somebody else sharpened them wrong and they're real blunt? You need to make them sharper. That you might need on a more aggressive film. But that also would depend on how hard the steel is. If it's a really hard steel, you're going to need more aggressive than you are going to if you have a um, softer steel. Some of the high-end shears, very expensive shears that are made in Japan, even though they cost a lot, the steel might not be all that hard, and you might be surprised how quick the burr comes up. So my suggestion, you always want to start with the finest grit you think you can get away with. And if that's not bringing up your burr, then you progress to a coarser grit. When, this is when you're doing expensive, nicer shears. So if I was using 3M, I would probably start with a 15. I'm talking about a nice shear. It's no huge nicks. I'm not having to reshape it. I might start with a 15 if it's kind of a fresh 15. Or I may start with a 30 if it's worn. I would rarely start with a 40. Does that make sense? And then I might finish with a 9. If it's a um, hair shear or it's a beveled edge and you're doing it at a 35 or 40 degree angle, and I mean USA angles, which is opposite from Asian angles, but um, I have another video on that, and there's some things on my website about it. I would probably maybe start and end with a 15 micron, or at least not go any finer than a 15 micron, if I'm using 3M. Um, with the Blue Film, same kind of thing if it depends on whether it's fresh or if it's worn, because after one or two sharpenings, it's going to feel like an entirely different grit. I'm not one that likes to use a fresh paper for every shear I sharpen. I know some sharpeners that do that. Um, I kind of like mine broken in a little bit. They seem to do better. I don't, I can get a nicer polish, a nicer shine. Um, if they get filled up with metal, we have an item called a Swarf Eraser that can go in and kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, using water makes them last longer. I actually have, um, let me show you. I've got 800 grit that I was actually putting little marks on how many I've sharpened. And let me find that for you because I want you to see how many I've done before I just quit making marks on it. I'm sure I'm going to get some really negative comments about this. And just comment if you like. And I might just do a bad emoji or something. <laughs> If you can see here, I put the date, January, and that's 2021. So that was January of this year. Um, I'm filming this in the middle of March of 2021. And I have retired this. I'm not using this right now. I had to go in my retired stack. I never throw these away. Never, ever, ever. Um, I'll have a pile of maybe some used ones we'll sell at our garage sale at the jam. And some of you may want to buy them. I don't know. But um, you never know, maybe there's a problem with, we went through months of not being able to get our blue film in because of the COVID. 
and there may be times you need to go dig these out from somewhere you know you're desperate your order got lost or what have you um so i don't i'm you know my grandmother always said if it doesn't eat or sleep you know keep it and i uh, i tend to be a little bit of a hoarder not bad but misty thinks it's pretty horrible but anyway what i want you to look at i put little ticks on here for the number of shears i sharpen so i got 5 10 15 20 25 30 31 and I may have done more and just forgot to put the little ticks on it. So I did 31 shears on this disc um, before I said, okay, it's ready to put in my retired pile. Um, when do I know it's time to retire it? If, if you're not getting a burr and you need something more aggressive, then I go and get a fresh disc. I'm always breaking one in. So I can get it to the level I want it. So I might have three 800 grits at different levels. This one's like a fresh one. This one's slightly broken in. And then one like this that I can do all my polishing with. Now you don't want to be using these when you're just working on the, <laughs> on the paper and the adhesive and all the sand and the grit's gone. But can you hear? It's still got a, li it's still got a little bit of bite to it. Um, uh, and if I cleaned it up, I, I could probably still get some more sharpening out of it. So that's how I choose. So it's going to be personal preference. It's going to be by sheer by sheer. And I wish I could give you some kind of perfect formula of this, this, and this. I think when I first started in the sharpening business, um, or when I first started training, I'd say, well, okay, you're going to start with a 30, a 40 micron, go to 30, go to 15, go to 9. And other than going from coarse to fine, all those rules are out the window. And actually, I go from fine to coarse a lot of times because I'll start out with what the finest I think it can get away with. And if that's not working, I'll go up to the coarser one or go faster or a combination of both. But then I still have to step it down to the finer one. And you know, I don't say higher number, lower number because we're doing micron and we're doing grit. So I hope that answered all your questions. Um, I have some videos out there about sharpening that are going to be more advanced and then some that are going to be just those basic things and you know you want to kind of know well, what does Bonnie do? And uh, mine's not always the best but it works for me and um, it may just work for you.